Hey guys, happy Monday. Do you have the case of the Mondays? I'm just laying in bed, just waking up. I know I look crazy, but I don't give a fuck. Um, I, you know, was just going through Instagram and just seeing a bunch of things coming up that I just felt like I wanted to talk about. Um, just something that I feel really passionate about. And obviously this is like a very controversial topic um but it's about you know trans people and about gay people um i just saw someone post something about you know trans rights or human rights which of course i 100 percent agree with and i just um you know i ended up like commenting on a couple posts um just because it's just something that i feel so passionate about i just don't understand you know when people bring up you know, talking about trans people, gay people, and people bring up the Bible, and they talk about God, and they say things about, you know, I was just um, commenting on something because someone was saying, like, you know, I'm going to, God, like, we're going to pray for you, you know, talking about people being trans or people being gay, like, they're going to pray for them, and it's just something that I want to talk about just because I just don't understand a lot of so-called Christians, um, and just like how, I don't know, like, I guess I just feel like they don't see the bigger picture or they're just so, so tunnel visioned on certain things, but overlook so many other things or it just doesn't add up to me. You know, it's like, is God love? God is love, correct? This is what we've been told our whole lives or, you know, this is what we're always told. God is love. God makes no mistakes. So if this is true and this is what I really do believe. I do really do believe in God and I believe in Jesus. Like that's where I feel a connection with spirituality. I mean, I feel spiritual. Like I feel, you know, like definitely feel things when I'm in nature and I feel like I'm spiritual, but I also believe that it's all connected because I believe that, you know, it is God, like nature is God. Um, but anyways, so it's just like, I don't understand, you know, Christians when it comes to gay people and when it comes to trans people, like the God that I believe in, like loves people. The God that I believe in is not a mean God. So therefore, you know, you have people that I have know so many people that were born into, you know, normal, straight you know, devout Christian families. They were in a raise in that kind of, by those kind of parents and, you know, normal household, as you would say, which, what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. But, um, and yeah, you know, knew from an early age that something just didn't feel right, that they didn't feel right in their body. They knew from an early age, like, you know, that they didn't connect with their, the gender that they were being, you know, raised as and that their body, I guess, like showed and, I just feel like, you know, why would God do that to someone, you know? Like, why? I, I just don't feel like God is mean like that. Why would, you know, he, you know, have someone feel for their entire life from such an early age? I mean, to have that feeling from such an early age, I've never had that feeling. That's how I know that I'm not trans. I know I was born a female and I identify as a female, I've never had, you know, any sort of feeling that that wasn't who I was, but I can't imagine what it would feel like if that was the case. If, I mean, if, if you feel that way from such an early age, like I, I just, you know, and people like are like, you know, it's something you could pray about. We all have our things we have to work through, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think God is mean like that. Like God would not make people live their whole life and be miserable and feel to the core that something is not, that they don't, you know, feel right in their body, that he wouldn't make them, you know, deny who they are for their entire life and be miserable and feel trapped in their bodies and trapped in their lives and feel like they're living a lie. Like I, I don't believe in that kind of God. I don't, I don't believe that that's what God would want or what he you know like not that this is even the same thing but you know I always think about like people are born with both reproductive organs you know they're born some people there happens all the time I mean not all the time but you know what I'm saying like it happens like people are born it's a very a common thing that they're born with both reproductive male and female organs you know I mean yeah it doesn't talk about that in the bible it doesn't talk about that people are going to be born with both male and female reproductive organs. Like, that's not really how, you know, I guess, like, 
the blueprint is for us you know that's they don't talk about that with eve or with adam they're not you know it's just it's one of those things like shit happens like we're all so unique and so special like no one is alike so you know of course like you don't think it's possible that someone could be literally you know born in a body but their mind you know because of what's you know this is different all dna all different you know characteristics and stuff that make us up you know like our parents you know chromosomes and everything that make us up to a certain way and sometimes things you know like we're made special and yeah that's just how i feel about it like i just don't understand how christians like don't think about this you know don't really think about like the whole bigger picture that again like there's a lot of things that happen that the bible hasn't talked about you know there's a lot of characteristics that people have again that people that bible bible's not going to talk about people are born with three eyes or like you know with, like connected to their sister or not that this is the same thing because i don't believe that it's any sort of <laughs> anything but i'm just saying that you know it's just the same thing it's like people are just born how they're born and i truly believe that you know if someone feels like in their heart they're they're not in the right body just let them live their life like clearly that is a truth for them and maybe you don't understand just because you're not trans you're not gay you're not all any of these things so that's why you don't understand just like you know i'm not super tall i can't understand what it's like for someone who's super tall sometimes like i mean they could tell me all day what it's like but until i've actually experienced it you know so like people need to just like accept each other and accept each other's differences and just understand that yes like trans rights is human rights you know like if you believe in god and you believe in jesus and you say you're a christian like christian hung out with the prostitutes or the so-called like sinners or whatever you know he met helped them meet their basic needs so whether or not you believe even too, I mean, that's like a whole nother topic. If you believe that whether or not you believe trans is right or being gay is right, you don't believe that people's human rights, you don't believe that everybody should have basic human rights no matter what they believe in. That's just crazy to me. And that just like, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I, that's why like, I sometimes just want to like laugh sometimes at Christians because I just, you know, it's like people say, like, Lord, save us from our follower, save us from your followers. Like, you know, it's not God and Jesus. It's the church that's, you know, for some reason has been so obsessed. I feel like it is like they're like obsessed with homosexuality. Like there's so many other things. Like it's like homosexuality and like um, abortion and like these things are what they care the most about. That's what we hear so much about. They'll judge people so much about these things. Yet, again, like, let's talk about all the other things that they don't judge people as much about. They'll overlook, you know, all kinds of corruption going on in the church. They'll overlook so many things. They'll overlook our president and all the crazy things that he's done and said that are completely ungodly. Yet, they're going to condemn a gay person. <laughs> like, I, it just, just makes no sense to me. Um, and this is obviously just something I feel very passionate about. And, you know, if you keep con following my channel, this is, I'm going to continue to talk about all these things as well as, you know, I want my channel to be a place of discussion. If you, again, have anything you want to talk about, if you have any questions, if you want to reach out to me, if you just want to like, you know, you need someone to talk to about anything, you know, reach out to me. If you want to have a little discussion under my, under this video, that'd be great too, you know? I just, I really care, and it's something I really feel very passionate about, and I will talk all day, every day about it. You know, I am an ally, and I'm here to to do what I can as, a, you know, a citizen of this great country. All right? I hope you guys have a great Monday. Positive vibes to all, and uh, take care. Peace.